ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this new 10 minutes video podcast of Fleet Europe. And today, our guest is Uber for Business. And I have with me Audrey Kuppens. She is head of Uber for Business Greater Europe, and she is going to detail the strategy of Uber for Business in 2021. Audrey, it's great having you here in this video podcast of Fleet Europe. I hope that you are doing well. Yes, very well. Thanks, Steven. Thanks for, uh, for inviting me. Audrey, um, we are interested, of, know, uh, of course, in knowing more about Uber for Business. Can you detail in what way Uber for Business is different from Uber? Yes, Uber for Business offers a single platform, and that platform enables companies to manage rides as well as meals and delivery for their employees and customers. And what kind of services dedicated to companies? Because we are, of course, uh, targeting uh, the fleet owners, the fleet managers of the multinational companies. So what kind of services and products do you offer for those companies with what success? Yeah. So if you look at, at uh, the platform, we have three main solutions. Uh, the first one, which we also introduced at, at the start of Uber for Business uh, in 2014, is uh, the Rides uh, solution. And with Rides, we can help companies in, in multiple uh, ways. Um, the most obvious one, uh, which is where we started as well, is, is around business travel, where we simplify Rides uh, in cities worldwide for uh, employees that have a, a need to travel. Another one is around courtesy rides, where the platform enables uh, different solutions that allows companies to request rides for their customers and their guests very easily. More recently within rides this year, we've set up um, a commute program as well, where companies can offer their employees an easy and stress-free uh, commute, and importantly as well, uh, a safe uh, commute. Then yeah. more recently, we've introduced two new solutions on the Uber for Business uh, platform. Uh, the first one being uh, Uber Eats. Uh, so through Uber Eats for Business, uh, companies can um, deliver meals, whether it's individual meals or group meals, to their staff and their clients. And more recently, the, uh, on the delivery side, we now make item delivery uh, available as well. Companies can send and receive goods with Uber Direct uh, through the Uber for Business dashboard. Great initiatives, also a lot of initiatives. Um, it seems that you have been quite busy in this complex year. For whom are those services? Is it for every kind of business? What is the target group of your customers? Hmm. Yeah, so, so since launching, uh, we've helped now 150,000 customers unlock employee productivity and, and elevate uh, the customer experience. And really from uh, SMB companies to large uh, global enterprises, I would say that there, there's not one target uh, customer. We uh, are there to help any company that has uh, a need to move people, feed people or arrange deliveries. And this, I can imagine, uh, all over Europe. Are you already present in almost every country in Europe? So on the right side, uh, we're available in more than 6,000 uh, cities and close to 170 countries uh, worldwide. Um, if we look at Europe specifically, we're not, uh, we don't have coverage uh, across all of Europe, but, but most uh, of, of the major uh, economies, yes. What's next on the agenda? Because we are, of course, interested in the year 2021. So what can you share with us in terms of business development and expansion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mentioned uh, Uber Eats for Business. Uh, since the start of this year, uh, the number of users has uh, grown more than 10 times uh, for Uber Eats on the Uber for Business uh, platform. Uh, we're seeing a, a great interest from organization to help them um, feed their employees while they are work from home, but also support them in the employee engagement and in the employee well-being through uh, several initiatives. And I think the holiday season now is, is, is a, a good example of that. And I'm very excited to uh, continuing uh, to help organizations uh, on that topic uh, next year with Uber Eats for Business. Good. 2020, of course, was the year of the pandemic and has really impacted everything in terms of mobility. So probably also your business has been suffering from uh, the pandemic. What is your vision on the difficult marriage 
uh, between mobility and the pandemic? Yeah, I would say um, as the outcome, safety has become uh, a top priority. Since uh, the start of COVID, we've seen uh, the interest in creating commute programs for employees nearly double. And uh, within that, safety um, is, is, is a key topic. So for us, it's, it, it's been really important to, uh, to further invest in the development of, of commute programs that enable uh, corporations to provide a safe way from and to work uh, for their employees and to make sure that uh, the safety measures that uh, we have taken uh, on the platform are uh, on point. Yeah. Great. Um, then finally, what can you share with us uh, for 2021 that uh, your customers and your prospects will be positively surprised about? Yeah, I think I've shared my excitement around uh, Uber Eats for, uh, for next year. Uh, maybe something else that I'm really excited about, which is uh, not for next year uh, yet, but uh, will be there in, in, in the uh, near future. It is uh, Uber's commitment to be a zero emission uh, platform by 2040 globally. And uh, I'm very excited about that because I think uh, sustainability is, is a key topic within uh, mobility, but also because we will be leading the pack uh, in Europe with Amsterdam uh, becoming the first uh, city to be uh, zero emission free by 2025 and our commitment to, uh, to be zero emission free in Europe by 2030. Perfect. Audrey Cubbins, thank you very much. Thank you for being with us and thank you for sharing your views around Uber for Business in 2021. To the audience, if you like this video podcast with Uber for Business, then please like it on the screen and share it with your colleagues. And I hope to see you soon for the next episode of the 10 Minutes video podcast with Fleet Europe. Thank you. Thanks, David.